Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego today. It's March 16th. We're amidst the uh, coronavirus buying craze. Uh, the retail store is crazy busy. We're selling a lot of guns in California and a lot of magazines. And that's why I'm doing this new magazine video to show you uh, a magazine product that I think is going to elevate the Glock magazine concept to the next level. And we're going to talk about that very shortly. First, uh, this is the Glock standard uh, Glock 17, 17 round 9mm magazine. Of course, not available here in California unless you're law enforcement, but it's 17 rounds. In California, it's always 10 rounds. Same body. What they do in California, a lot of people don't know this, is they actually funnel the inside of the magazine, so no matter what you do to the base, it's only going to take 10 rounds. So it's, uh, it looks the same, it's the same size, it only has a 10 count on the back of it. You can get to 10, you can't put anything else into it. Even if you took the base off and you put a big extension on it, you can only get 10 inside because they funnel the inside of the magazine to only accept 10. And that's your Glock Factory magazine. All of us know that work in the business that the Glock Factory magazine is the go-to magazine that you would use for anything. You know, competition, self-defense, you want to have a factory Glock magazine. That said, this next product I'm about to show you really has impressed me and I think um, you may want to consider a couple of these if you're in a free state because you can't buy these in California. <laughs> but you can buy them everywhere else and that's why I want to show them to you. They're uh, all steel and they're pretty phenomenal. I mean, they really are. I'm really impressed with them. And they have a couple of different vari variations that I'll show you shortly, but they're all steel. And um, uh, they, we tested them, and they work great. I mean, they really do. They really are phenomenal. So uh, they come in uh, three different flavors right now, actually six, and I'll talk to about, you know, about that in just a minute. But here's the first one. It's 140 millimeters, 140 millimeters tall. It takes, with a standard follower, 23 rounds. Now, I say standard follower because there's two type of followers that are available. The standard follower has uh, the little ledge that will lock back the last round. So you remember that right there on your follower? See that ledge that intersects with the slide stop to make it push up when there's no more rounds in there? So it locks the slide back. Okay, that's the nomenclature of the, the ledge or the step on the follower will intersect with the slide stop lever, which is this guy right here. So when you shoot that last round, it locks it back automatically. And hence you then drop your magazine, load another one, close it and go and continue to shoot. That is um, one of the followers that's available. They also have what they call a competition follower. So if you look in here real close, you'll see there is no step and they actually put a little, uh, you know, I guess uh, uh, some marks inside there that you can see that it's the competition follower. Now what that does, it adds an extra round because it doesn't have that step. So this 140 millimeter tube is available in the standard follower with 23 rounds, the competition follower with 24 rounds. All right, so you can buy them either way. And you may ask yourself, well, why would I not want it to lock back? Well, a lot of guys in competition are more interested in the round count than anything else. And so they're going to change their magazine as they go. And they know that that last magazine is going to give them that extra round. So there's a lot of gaming there, a lot of things to think about. But Bottom line is it's available in two different flavors with a competition follower or the standard follower. Here is another one, and this is the next size up. This is 155 millimeters, and it has the competition follower installed in it, and it will take 27 rounds with the standard follower is 26. So those two go right like that. Now here's the last two that I'm going to show you, and these are basically the same size. These are 170 millimeters. And one has the competition follower, the other one has the standard follower with the step that's going to lock the round back. And it's uh, 30 rounds with the competition follower and 29, 29 rounds with the, um, uh, the standard follower. And now you'll notice, you know, it's, it's you know, not much larger than your standard 17. All right? That's the co cool thing to remember. Uh, all that said, Here's why and how these work and why there's so many different sizes. In the USPSA competition, a lot of competition shooters use these. Obviously, you want the higher round count so you don't have to change magazines because that takes time. The uh, 
rules are that the magazine has to be a certain length. So for production class and carry optics, the magazine length can be no more than 141.25 millimeters. It says that right there. So we'll take our carry optics and production mag. We're going to drop it right in here like this, and you'll see it fits perfectly. That's how it works. And this is a standard USPSA IPSC uh, magazine gauge, I guess they'd call it, or magazine measuring gauge. And that's for the carry optics and production class. Now, for the open class, it's 171.25 millimeters. And let's see here. There you go, USPSA. And there you go, 171.25. So now that guy is going to be right here. So we're going to stick this one here, and you'll see it fits just perfectly. So you could do uh, this magazine with 29 or 30 rounds and be legal in open competition. And they were made really for competition, as you can see. However, they do work in all Glocks. There is one caveat or one word of caution. Because they are steel, over time, that steel edge may, most probably will, wear into the plastic magazine release of the Glock. So it sticks good. This, is, this has actually the plastic mag release with a, uh, one of our buttons on the top there. So it sticks, it works fine, drops fine. But I will tell you, over time, if I'm in and out, in and out with that steel versus the plastic, well, the steel's going to win. So that means the plastic will eventually wear down. You either have to replace that. Or you can use an aluminum, which we make, magazine release, which will uh, uh, last a lot longer. Although steel is stronger than aluminum. So the, eventually, you may wear the aluminum down. And I believe that we have a steel mag release button coming as well to complement these particular magazines. OK, so there's the nomenclature. We do sell these separately, as is, with either the standard follower or the competition follower. So keep that in mind. Uh, again, you'll see the button on the website. But the way to tell the difference is that if you look in here, uh, you'll see that the, oh, let's go show you these two. Uh, the competition follower has these little markings in it right there in the very top, little, little arrows kind of right there on the top. And this one has the ledge, and the ledge is being right there. And that ledge is what's going to go ahead and uh, allow the uh, follower to intersect with the slide stop to push it up. And as you uh, shoot the last shot, it locks back. Okay. Now, interestingly, with a competition follower, it doesn't lock back. Just that easy. So there you go. You, now you have it. So, so why would you want that? Well, competition shooters know for sure why they would want the competition with the extra round versus the ability to have it locked back. The extra round sometimes is more important. Okay, now, so the other thing I need to show you that's from the same company are the magazine extensions that go on to the 33 round Glock magazine. And this is uh, one of the uh, FDE versions. And it comes in black, and it comes in FDE, and it comes in OD green. And I thought I'd show you the FDE. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install the um, uh, plus, now this is amazing, plus 26. <laughs> so this is the plus 26 plus the 31 that'll go in this tube. Although this is a 33 round magazine, the base plate here is a plus two. So because that's plus two, the tube is really 31. So 31, I'm going to take that base plate off. I'm going to add this base plate, plus 26 is 57. Now, how would you use that and why would you use that? Well, if you're shooting PPC, which is pistol caliber carving, no, PCC, excuse me, uh, you're going to go ahead and um, uh, enjoy the fact that you can just you know load that up once and shoot the entire match, <laughs> which is one magazine. No, shoot a couple stages of one magazine. All right, that said, let's go ahead and talk about that. Before I install this, though, I want to show you one other thing. Uh, we do sell also a kit that comes with the magazine and the extension. And we can pre-install that for you if you like, just like that. So you get that, that basic thing there. And like I said, it's, plus, uh, it's a 57-round magazine. Pretty awesome. Especially if you're shooting PCC. Now, uh, here's how this looks. I'll just show this for you real quick before we get too far down. So there it would be. So you're basically shooting here like that. Pretty cool. You know? 
and it won't lock back on this particular one because it's got the confidence and follower. All right. So now let's go ahead and install this piece onto this uh, 33 round magazine. So you're going to get it in a bag like this. This is pretty fun, pretty easy. It's got a big spring in it, so let's get be careful. Make sure that spring comes out and doesn't get kinked in any way. Okay, there we go. And there's that. And there's your spring. And we're going to use the factory follower because it doesn't come with a follower. And uh, as you know, uh, these Glock magazine springs, there is an up and a down, and the up typically looks like this. Let's see if you can really get a good shot of that. And uh, It has this small little hook on it, and that hook actually hooks into the follower itself. This guy right here. And we'll show you that as we get there. This is the uh, body, the uh, plus uh, uh, 26 body, and it has a small Allen screw on the bottom. We're going to take that out, and then we're going to... Remove the base plate first, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and just do that while we're at it. Let's see if I can find the right bit here. Okay, here's the right bit. Let's go ahead and put it into my screwdriver handle here and just take this out. Okay. And we'll leave that right there like that. And then here's the base plate. So that's basically what it looks like. So we're going to slide this onto our 33 round mag. Now, when we take our magazines apart, I like to use our MDT for our standard magazines. This is a magazine disassembly tool. Uh, this is one of our original ones. It's a prototype, but they're available, I think, in red now we make them. And this is a great little item. It works like a can opener. You pop it in here like so, and you just pop this down. Just like that, it takes the magazine base plate off. But we're not going to do that here. Now, the problem with this is it doesn't work on the 33-round magazine. So what we got to do is get a big, heavy punch, like so, put it into the hole, and then stand up on top of it. Now, it's kind of hard to see this, but I'm going to just push it off. And it, like I said, it's not easy sometimes, but this one we pre-did already, and so it's basically off. And there comes the base plate. Now, i got to be careful to capture that spring. It is under pressure. So you want to make sure you have your thumb on top of that and do not allow that to fly across the room because you'll lose some pieces and parts more than likely. Okay, this is the magazine insert plate. And this is the spring. And this is the follower. It's got the orange follower, which is uh, indicative of a Gen 5 magazine. And this is the body or tube, the magazine tube. And so you'll see it says 31 rounds at the very, very bottom there. And then that, uh, there you go, maybe right there you can see it. Yep. And then this is a plus two extension. So that's how you get 33. That's why they sell it as a 33 rounder, that plus two extension. So I'll put that off the side. And now we're going to take our follower off of the magazine. It basically just snaps right off. We're just going to twist it off. And let's go this way without trying to bend the spring here. There we go. So I just kind of torqued it off. So it came off. This is the, uh, the insert plate. And I don't believe we use that. Uh, I will double check here. Uh, nope, nope, that's it. So we're going to leave that as is. So this insert plate, as you know, is kind of designed for the plus two because it's got those little slots right there which line up and kind of capture it like so. And that's designed to help it not slide off, okay? And slide this base plate slide off the bottom. So it captures it uh, with the spring pressure into the body of the magazine. So I'm going to put all those aside. I'll save all those because, you know, we may use them again. Like I said, we're going to reuse our follower. Now, the follower is orange, and that's the, kind of the new style. And it's kind of neat because it does absolutely show you where uh, the magazine is from a, a distance. So when it's up in the gun and at a distance, you can see the orange in the chamber. And that's what they were, uh, they did that for the uh, military contract. And it, it makes sense because it, it is much more visible. All right, so we're going to go and snap this into place. Uh, again, looking at this magazine, it runs uphill. The follower runs uphill. If you always think about the, um, the ledge is always to the forward section, the ledge that actually uh, intersects with the slide stop lever. 
So that goes forward. So that's how it's, this is going to go. You'll see the magazine runs forward up on the top here. There you go. So it's going that way. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in as like so. So I'm just going to wedge it in here. It should snap in. And you hear a little snap. So now it's captured. So it's not going anywhere. Okay. Before I do anything else, I'm going to put the tube on to the bottom. And I do want to show you one thing here, which is a, it's a pretty neat little system. They have a, uh, let's see if I can find a small flathead screwdriver to help with this. There we go. Uh, they do have a rod embedded into this magazine body that will capture the tube onto the body. You can pry that up, just get into here and just pick it up here with your screwdriver and see how it came up right there. That's what's going to capture the uh, magazine tube on there. Right now I'm just going to push it down to flush so I can put the tube on. And then there's also a small Allen screw right there to tighten that down. So now we're looking again at the, it's running uphill. It's going to end up going like so. It's going to slip on like so. Okay, so now it's in place. Okay, looks good. So let me go ahead and now lift up my little bar here. And you'll see how that bar is going to raise up and it's going to prevent the magazine body from coming off of this extension. So now the body, you know, is, is all one piece in a sense, locked in. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, now, there's my base plate that's going to go on the bottom. There's my follower with the extended spring. It goes forward. I'm going forward that way. I've got them all lined up properly. It really won't fit any other way. You put it in, make sure the follower is seated properly. And now we just have to push this down and get it situated here and then get it set with your base plate. So, I got it down below flush. And I'll push this thing up right here like so. And there you have it, just that easy, just like that. Now I've got to put the screw back in so it doesn't come out inadvertently. And my screw is captured here on my little Allen tool. And I'll just tighten it down. And that is it. We now have a 57 round magazine using the Glock factory 33 or 31 round tube and the uh, 26 round extension. And like I said, for PCC shooters, it is a perfect storm. I mean, you really can go all day long with this thing. And we've tested them. They shoot great. So it's really a, a neat item. And again, uh, you can buy this extension for the plastic Glock factory magazine. Now, one thing I haven't tried, and you know, I'm going to at some point, and I'll report to you back when I do. What if I were to do that entire, entire process, but I took my Glock factory 17 round magazine, and I cut the spring down a little bit to make it feature 17 plus 26. That would be kind of cool, huh? Yeah. It may work. I don't know. Uh, it's worth trying. <laughs> and, you know, again, that would be experimenting with that spring and to see how much I have to cut it down to make it actually feed and function and also uh, uh, be able to load it up with the 26 rounds because if there's too much spring, it won't compress enough and it won't do that. If there's not enough spring, it won't push up enough. It's one of those things where the magazine spring was designed for the 33 round tube. And uh, we've already tested it. Like I said, it works great. Uh, with this uh, 17 round tube, it, it, you take a little experimentation, but uh, I'm going to play with it and see. I'll, let, I'll report back and let you know. But I tell you, these are pretty phenomenal, especially for our competition shooters out there. Uh, I know that, um, you yeah, know, I like to shoot this uh, PCC a lot. And it's fun to load this thing up 
and shoot, you know, 57 rounds without having to reload or, or drop a magazine. So that said, uh, a couple new items we got here at the Glock store. Always continually looking to find new great items for your Glock handgun, your uh, PCC competition guns, because they all take Glock magazines. And uh, that said, uh, thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock store performance and custom shop here in San Diego today. Also, our store in Nashville is coming soon. Like I said, this is March 16th. Uh, we hope that by July, 1st of July, right that ballpark, maybe even July 4th, we'll do a big grand opening party. So once we get that all situated and settled, you will be invited to come join us. And I hope to see you out there as well as if you're ever in San Diego or in Southern California, drop down here and see us too. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. We'll see you next time.